Hi guys, welcome back to part 11 of this build. Uh, we're going to try to put this thing all together. If you guys remember on my um, last video, I painted the wheels. They actually came out really, really nice. It's got dust all over it, but they came out nice. Yeah, and if you're wondering if I did the back, yes, I did also the back. So, for those of you guys that um, are going to say, well, the bolt should be up, coming up, from the bottom because the spindle is supposed to ride on the part that has no threads well I don't like it like that because I don't like on the top a bolt sticking uh, with a nut and sticking out I like it when it's like this flat and that's the reason why I bought this bolt a little bit longer and the threads are all down here so the spindle is actually riding on the no thread part and what I'm going to do is I'll cut this bolt just enough for the nut and the nylon on the nut to fit. Cool? Cool. So here's where I'm at. The horns, I got the gun coming out of the horns here. There's my dash. Here's the other side. Cool, man. Flames, eh? Who doesn't like flames? Even two-year-olds like flames. There's the other side. Um, I have my dash, which this is a tack and hour uh, gauge. I have my speedometer here. 
and this switch here is for the if it's to click the um, paintball gun on and off just in case we don't push the button by mistake I'm waiting for the button so I can't put it on until it gets here so yeah the battery box that's all there um, got these switches here I have a voltage meter that tells me how uh, what the battery's at I got a cigarette lighter over here and I got a USB two USB plugs here so yeah back lights are on the front lights are on so I gotta I have to wait until somebody helps me I don't have anybody here to help me put that on the ground so I can put the back end on and uh, the rear axle um, I haven't been on YouTube for long I started this for only one reason uh, I used to do all kinds of stuff I have um, I, I do I used to do all kinds of stuff like this I don't know if you guys can see it good but this is all made out of toothpicks since I can't use them so I put the toothpicks to some use I used to actually have all the NHL teams and some uh, baseball teams I gave them all away to um, my my nephews um, yeah I, I, I did uh, some bar marble machines which I gave away chess boards checker boards and all that and one day my daughter my youngest daughter told me she well she actually said dad why don't you just open up a YouTube channel and show people your stuff maybe they can learn from it and everything and that's why I went on YouTube like I'm not doing this for money um, yeah I do put a, a, a PayPal link on the bottom because you know it, it will help with um, with bills coming faster uh, people that do this kind of stuff know how expensive th this shit is uh, but I'm not here to uh, get rich off of this stuff I, I just enjoyed making it uh, for those of you guys that um, give me a thumbs down on my videos like I said I enjoy doing this so I couldn't give a shit but for those of you that do put give me a thumbs down I I did a special graphics for you on this go-kart and I'm gonna show it to you and there you go so anyway as soon as I get help putting this thing down um, I'm gonna put the rear end on it and that'll be coming up shortly okay guys the back end is on except for <clears throat> I don't have bolts I don't know why it, they came with the bearings I don't know what I did with them I don't have bolts to uh, hook up the bearings and everything uh, but this is basically what the card is gonna look like not bad I don't think I like it anyway. Um, what I'm going to try to do tomorrow is I'm going to try to um, uh, put the engine in, hook up the pedals. And on the next video, I'm hoping I'm going to take this thing for a nice test run. And see what it does. Cool? Cool. Thanks to all my viewers, subscribers. And yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.